Hello. Hello. Hey guys, it's Mitch here with Rangeland RV and I'm standing here with Ty the RV guy and behind us today is the all new 2021 Rockwood Ultralight 2883 WS and what does that WS stand for? Wicked sweet. That's right guys, no just kidding, it stands for wardrobe slide but we're going to jump into the length here right off the bat and the weight. So starting off from pin to bumper with this fifth wheel you're looking at a rough length of about 33 feet and 10 inches yeah. and from there when we look at the weight you're right around that 9300 pounds dry so if you got that oversized half ton truck or even a truck from higher than that you'll be able to pull this no problem. So let's talk about some exterior features and some construction on this coach, Mitch. Perfect. So I'm gonna take you through some of the amazing features of what actually makes the Rockwood one of the number one selling products in North America. So this coach here is a six-sided, aluminum framed, vacuum bonded, block foam insulated, six-sided laminated coach. This is totally unique to Rockwood. When you get into this brand, they do that vacuum bonding and aluminum framing block foam installation like we just said, all throughout the trailer, six sided, even into the roof. What is the advantages of having an actual vacuum bonded trailer tie? So here's the thing guys, when you get into a vacuum bonded trailer, this is put together through a gigantic vacuum press. So all your walls are built in one solid piece. When you start looking at some competitors, you'll hear the terms pinch rolling, you'll hear the terms hung wall fiberglass. This is the best there is right behind us here and this is what you want. So let's jump into some exterior features. Awesome. So I'm going to take you through some exterior features here. Um, so obviously one of the number one things with having a fifth wheel is the massive pass-through storage. As you can take a look there and if you're purchasing a Rockwood um, in this category with Rangeland RV it is going to come equipped with that auto level which is really nice one touch of a button and set it forget it it's going to be leveled. Absolutely. Another thing that we love to talk about while we're talking about these big features like auto leveling and construction is the torsion axle sus uh, suspension system on these trailers. Completely unique in the fifth wheel category. This gives you that independent rubberized suspension which allows for less trailer sway but also eats up those vibrations from the road from passing inside your coach. To top it all off with that suspension system and your axles and tires, Rockwood gives you a uh, Goodyear tire and they also give you the full onboard tire pressure monitoring system which goes right into your vehicle. Tells you the temperature and pressure of your tires real time. Absolutely and you know statistics have shown that the number one cause of a trailer accident has been due to low tire pressure and a tire blowing so you're going to know right away if you're getting that low tire pressure. Absolutely. Uh, why don't we take them over to the front and uh, we'll go through the uh, turning point. Um, Absolutely guys, so what we have here is the turning point hitch by Trail Air. This is a really cool feature on these Rockwoods because essentially what you can do now is actually change the pivot point from the pin here back to the actual turret is what I like to call it. So it gives you a much wider turning radius if you have that short bed truck. Another thing that we love to talk about is the big molded fiberglass cap. Why is that great? Because what the advantage of having that beautiful molded fiberglass front cap is that the fact that it's going to go all the way up to the top, it's going to wrap around that front seal and you're going to have a less likely chance that you're going to have any type of water damage coming through. Absolutely. And they even wrap it around all four sides, right? Around this side, even into the bottom. Another thing I was going to mention too, Ty, is they give you um, a really nice know, light here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful light. They give you the full paint on the front here too. And what we can offer you at Rangeland if you like is you can actually 3M cover something like this to help protect that paint. Yeah. So follow us over this way. We'll jump into some more features. Just underneath the actual front side of this trailer here, you have an awesome storage compartment. And one of the things that we love to point out with these storage compartments is these are metal slam latch baggage doors. So with that being said, these are lockable for the same key that runs your deadbolt. And of course, this is a big advantage of having a fifth wheel here is another big spot for storage. So another thing you're going to notice too is that inside of this, um, the front here, the front storage place, you are going to have that beautiful battery disconnect. So you're not going to have to detach from your battery after storage. It's not going to drain anything on you. Absolutely. Exterior um, solar plug-in as well, in case you did have a portable solar panel and you wanted to charge those batteries. Yeah. So let's make our way through the back of the coach, Ty. Yeah, absolutely. Features back here. So what you'll have on either side of this fifth wheel is 30 pound propane tanks. So a lot of tr uh, fifth wheels in this size category will actually show you a 20 pounder. So of course with Rockwood, they're gonna go the next level for you and give you that 30. Mitch, talk about that big 
big docking station there. So not only is this coach equipped with a fully enclosed heated underbelly with 12 volt heat pads, your, all of your connections here are gonna be enclosed as well. So it stays nice and warm in here and that you can operate all of your connections right there. You all do have, you also have, like I was telling you before, the one touch auto level, you know, one press of a button and it's gonna level you out making sure that you're nice and level. Yeah, this is a four point electric auto leveling system too. So like Mitch was saying, you hit that button, it comes down and it completely levels out your fifth wheel for you. No cranking, no digging holes, no putting wood underneath your tires. It's so much easier to do that. Touching base again on this, on this uh, fully enclosed panel here, you'll notice you'll actually have a couple different settings. A dry camp setting here, you'll have a wa uh, city water connection, they have a power fill setting and even a sanitizing setting. So you have everything that you need for this fifth wheel to keep up on your maintenance. Yeah. And the best part about it is it's all heated too. And speaking of heated, this trailer comes with a full enclosed heated underbelly with 12 volt heat pads on all of your tanks. Just like I told them. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Let's take them on in. That's hilarious. All right, so here, follow me guys. We'll, we'll start heading towards the front of this trailer. Big thing that you're gonna notice with this particular floor plan is yes, they do have a slide out on your camping side here, but what Rockwood gives you is a dual awning. These are both big power awnings and there's a really cool feature that Rockwood introduced on their new 2021s of how to put these awnings out. That's right. They're going to give you the one touch control app that you can download on your smartphone and with the touch of the button you can control your awning, your lights and your slides. Very, very simple and easy. And yeah. then just to nail it completely all off with their exterior features, they're gonna give you that outside kitchen. They do have a propane quick connect. It does come with a propane griddle, a uh, cast iron griddle. You can do your bacon, your eggs, your pancakes, whatever you'd like on top of there. They also have a pressurized outside shower with hot and cold water so that you can spray down the kids if they're misbehaving or just clean off those quads. Absolutely. Let's take them on inside. So as we head in the door here, guys, the first thing that we got to mention with this door is, of course, it's a hidden hinge, or not hidden hinge, but what do they call that? Friction hinge? A friction hinge. Absolutely. Correct. So this is a friction hinge door. It takes up to a 25 kilometer an hour wind for you. Yep. And plus, if that wind picks up past that 25, they also give you the plastic latch here too, so you're double covered there. You know what I love about that, Ty, is your wife can no longer slam that door to prove her point. Absolutely. Yeah, and the kids' fingers are going to be safe. Absolutely. So another big thing I wanted to mention too, as you can see here, these are the more ride steps they are a hundred percent more solid than your average traditional trailer step that most comparables in the market are offering um, you know there's no chance that your kids are gonna fall their adjustable legs in case you have that uneven ground and it does work on a friction hinge as gas strut yeah gas strut sorry um, you know, even grandma can, can lift the stairs, no problem. Yeah, very easy. And she's got the big grab handle to get into, there right? You so you got that extra support. Come on in, guys. We'll show you the interior. You out. All right. So first thing you're going to notice walking into this beautiful fifth wheel, this is actually a brand new floor plan for Rockwood too, but you have dual opposing slides here, so it really opens up this interior space. Let's start off with the kitchen here. So I guess we're going to have a drink. Here we go. So as we get into the kitchen, First thing you're gonna notice, this brand new fridge. This is an 18 cubic foot gas and electric fridge. This is the largest fridge Rockwood has ever put Amazing. inside one of their fifth wheels. Amazing. It is so cool. If you're a dry camper out there, of course you can run this off of propane, not like those big residential fridges which strictly just work off of power. Mm -hmm. And then of course, right beside that, you're also gonna have your Magic Chef um, 22 inch oven with the glass door here. They got some really nice lights. And then right up above that, of course, your three burner cooktop with your tempered glass cover. And there's even a little light that goes into the oven there for you too. And folks, I have confirmed in case you were wondering and everybody does, you can fit that Costco shepherd's pie right in there. It Beautiful. does fit nicely. Awesome. So right beside your oven here, we're gonna have an awesome, we like to call this in our industry, a walk-in pantry for a fifth wheel. And the nice thing is they actually recess these shelves back inside of this pantry. So if you wanted to put a broom in here or something like that, it's very easy to do so. You also have an open space in the bottom. So if you want to bring some big winter boots, if you're winter camping, you got a place to put that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So you do get the Millersburg uh, recliner chairs and they do give you some really nice lumbar support. They are powered, of course, in case you wanted to go ahead and do that. You can uh, pull the latch right there, you know, recline and you're watching TV if you're a big movie fan like my family. You do also get a posing from the couch in the sitting area. You are going to get a Bluetooth stereo system that does um, 
It will allow you to connect your phone to it, play your music, and it's also wired through in case you did decide to put in a Blu-ray player to watch your movies. It will play through there. You do have this awesome um, fireplace. This guy will give off 400, it will heat up 400 cubic square feet in under 15 minutes. It's great for those spring days. And then last but not least, you have your hidden liquor cabinet. I'm just kidding. You have additional storage in case you want to hide everything. <clears throat> you want, um, you know, DVDs to uh, extra sheets, pillows, you name it. I, I, I think you hit the nail on the head. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. That's a perfect liquor cabinet. It's a liquor cabinet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, <clears throat> talk about some of the um, the construction inside here, like. Absolutely. The, the cabinets and everything like that. For sure. To the extent that Absolutely. Rockwood goes Guys, to. this Rockwood product is probably one of my favorite brands that we carry at the in, uh, in our dealership here. And the reason why I say that is because when you start looking at every small detail that Rockwood does, for an example, you have solid surface countertops in here. All of your cabinets are all solid wood material. If you look inside, you'll even have hidden hinge construction. They do the really nice glass on the side of here too. Dual and of course, yeah, stainless dual stainless undermounted sink. stainless sink and even a little detail like stretching out the countertop like this really just adds to the look. They give you a full wall backsplash in here too, so you're not worried about wrecking the wallpaper by there. You know what I've noticed, Ty, is not only is Rockwood, honestly, in my opinion, one of the best um you know, manufacturers to bring the comforts of your home to the campsite, but they utilize every inch of space inside their trailers amazingly. Tenfold, they absolutely. They do not waste any space. I have not yet met a Rockwood consumer that has said, why would they have put that there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, every little thing that they do is for a reason. Even for an example here, instead of putting what you usually see a sink on your island, you'll actually have this beautiful prep space, or it's of course a nice little breakfast bar for you too with some stools here, and then you'll have some massive drawers on either side and even speaking again on the fit and finish, these are full ball bearing extension drawer glides. And again, you're gonna have solid plywood on the inside of there. Now to wrap it up in this main area here, a couple of things I wanna to touch base on. Of course, you have a nice freestanding table. And of course, this is gonna extend out if you wanna add these stools right to the end of it. You'll have little uh, compartments underneath. And of course, the new blinds now in these trailers. You'll actually have full pull down roller shades. These are awesome because they're slow release shades too, so they're not gonna come winding up on you and they give you the nice valence to complete the look. Mm -hmm. Let's head upstairs now. Come on up. So as we pass up into this staircase here, one of the first things that we're gonna talk about, like Mitch mentioned before, is this is equipped with your one control for your RV. Like he was mentioning, you take a picture of this QR scan code for you, and of course you can move your awnings, your slide outs, your lights, and I'd have to double check, you might even be able to work that, uh, that auto leveling system here too. Um, of course, you're gonna have your panel here, and just below that, all your light switches, and there is a cool little switch here because Rockwood offers what's called a Wi-Fi Ranger. And what that's gonna allow you to do is essentially hook this trailer up to Wi-Fi if the campsite provides it and boost it directly into your trailer. Or you can even take a SIM card from your cell phone, program it right into there, and boom, you have yourself a Wi-Fi network. Follow me up into the bathroom here and we'll start talking. All right, here we are inside the bathroom. They do give you a spacious three-piece walk-through bathroom. The Rockwood product is amazing when it comes to their showers. Um, it's a shower that you can actually fit in, feel comfortable while you're showering. It's not gonna become a broom closet. You're not gonna have to store stuff in it. You can actually use it for a shower. Amazing, right? I know. Um, they do also give you, right over here, this is called an Aquaview Shower Miser. Um, the advantage of having an Aquaview Shower Miser is that in your uh, traditional type of trailer, if you wanted to have a shower, you normally just turn the water on, wait till it gets hot, and then you get in. Where's all that water going? It's going right into your gray tank. That's not going to be the case with this Aquaview Shower Miser. It's going to take that hot water. It's going to pull it from the hot water tank, bypass it, and put it right back into the hot water tank. Once that water is hot, that L bracket is actually gonna turn white, and then you're gonna know the water is hot. You turn the bypass on, and then you jump in. It's only that hot water that's going inside the gray water tank. It's such a cool feature, guys. You can't stress that enough, and you won't find it in a whole lot of products. What is that above your head? Oh, careful, don't turn it on, because it might suck me up into the ceiling. <laughs> you got it. So, <laughs> this is actually a high-powered fan fan. This moves about 900 CF them per minute. So essentially the beautiful part with this is you can actually turn it on and it simply cools down, which is quite honestly the most warmest part of your trailer if you don't have that luxury of running your air conditioner. A couple other things that you're going to notice inside the bathroom here is just below me, you'll have this beautiful foot flush toilet. It's actually a porcelain toilet too. And you'll see there's actually enough seating room where if I can close the door here, I got enough knee space here. I'm nice and comfortable here. You know, right in front of me, I got this beautiful stainless sink. This has actually got a seamless press edge on here too. So 
you can actually see that if this does get wet, it's not going to start coming apart on you or anything like that. You know, nice medicine cabinet that you got switches on the walls in here. So you're not reaching around for any lights or anything like that. It's a great way to set up the bathroom. Tell them about the 360 siphon vent really quickly. Yeah, this is actually a super cool feature that I almost missed. So what Rockwood does is they actually build a, a stack that comes right from the sewer tank up to the rock, up to the roof. And that helps vent out all of those bad smells that you might get inside your fifth wheel. Plus they have a black tank flush in here too. So you can rinse all that out. Follow me into the bedroom now. So welcome to the bedroom of this fifth wheel. And one of the really cool things that you're going to notice is actually how they've set up the nightstands on either side. So generally what you see is that nightstand that you see on your left there is going to be raised up right to the top, but Rockwood actually shortened it down and they gave you plugins and USB charges on that side. So say if you have a CPAP machine or that kind of thing, you still have a place to put it on that side of the bed. Plus there's lots of storage all the way around too. And even underneath this bed, one of my favorite things to talk about too with Rockwood is if you look oh, as I get squished here, <laughs> that's all good. As you, as you look underneath this bed, something you never see in any other brand is all of this aluminum framing. Rockwood is one of the only brands in the industry that does interior aluminum framing on their trailer along with the exterior. And that's so important because this again, keeps it super light, but as stronger as ever. That's right. Did you talk about the wardrobe slide? I didn't. It's all yours. So that wardrobe slide there gives you the additional space and the chance to bring all the clothes that you would normally leave behind. You don't have to pick and choose anymore. There's enough space that you can go ahead and <clears throat> bring your extra coats, anything you want to hang up. They give you a nice rack system that comes over here. So you can hang your um, clothes hangers and everything. Additional storage inside of the bathroom as well for all your towels and everything like that. And then I'm just going to bring you back into here. Hey Ty, mm -hmm. oh no, what is that above your head? Careful man, don't turn it on. It's pretty strong. <laughs> it's another one of those fantastic fans. Absolutely. Right? Um, that thing could suck a, an orange through a straw. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, golf ball through a garden hose even. You got it. Follow us All this right. way, guys. We'll finish off in the main area of the trailer. It's nice too, because you do have a dual entrance into that bathroom. So if say you have guests down in the main area here that want to come up and use the washroom, they're not having to come into your bedroom or anything like that. But it's also a nice ensuite. Now, that's pretty much wraps it up today for this fifth wheel. This is probably one of our most favorite fifth wheels, I would say, that we have. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, it's a great floor plan, you know, it's um, tons of uh, open area for entertaining. Yeah. This is a trifold sofa in case you have additional company that comes out. So mm -hmm. this is Big Mitch P with Rangeland RV and I'm sitting here with... Ty the RV guy. And if you are interested in seeing the extensive lineup of the Rockwood product, head on over to rangelandrv.com. Please give us a call. We are happy to answer any of your questions. Yeah. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We got a lot of great information there. Make sure you ask us about our RV show pricing on right now. Thanks again for watching Certainly. guys. Happy camping. Hey everyone, Ty the RV Guy here and behind me is the all new 2021 Heritage Glen 378 FL. This is one of our most popular selling fifth wheels right now at the dealership and it's mainly because you have a beautiful front living, uh, front living floor plan of this fifth wheel with a rear bedroom and it even has a loft up above there to give you bunk beds. So it's a mixture of all the real popular floor plans of a big fifth wheel all slammed into one. So we're really excited to show this to you here. Now with this particular coach, what you're looking at for an overall length is about 43 feet from pin to bumper and you're roughly about 12,000 pounds dry. So you're going to want to have that bigger diesel truck to pull this out to your campsite for you. Now another thing that we love to talk about with Heritage Glen is the quality of construction that you get out of this brand. This is a true vacuum bonded coach and they do aluminum framing and block foam insulation throughout the entire uh, the entirety of the coach. So what you're going to see of course is they they do that aluminum framing block foam insulation in their walls, their slide out walls also and very unique to the brand, they even do it into the floor. So a big benefit with something like that is it keeps your trailer a lot lighter, but it also gives you an extra barrier of insulation in your flooring too. Now, 
While we're on the topic of construction, one of the things I do want to touch on is the underbelly of this coach. You might be able to see it up at the front here, and uh, as we look underneath, one of the really cool things that they do is called a road armor underbelly. So if you come in here and you can have a look underneath the actual fifth wheel, you'll see it actually has plastic panels. And one of the big benefits that you'll see here is with those panels, they are removable. So if you ever need to service the underbelly of your coach, um, a technician won't have to cut a hole through anything and damage your underbelly. They can simply just take a section of it out. Another thing is, of course, it's a lot stronger than that thin underbelly coating that you usually see on most brands. So it's a big plus for the Heritage Glen here. Let's talk about some of the really cool exterior features. For example, you'll see you have this nice big uh, power awning with the LED light strip that stretches out over both doors and it's gonna give you a lot of shaded space here too. It is an adjustable arm on there too, so if you are in some heavy rain, you can easily tilt it to one side and allow it to drain off really easily. Like you can see at the front here, you also have some outside speakers for you, which are backlit with the blue LED, so it gives you that really nice modern look. And then just in behind this door, you're gonna see your full pass-through storage compartment. This is great, of course, because it gives you a ton of extra storage and some nice touches they do in here also is of course you can see they have a battery disconnect switch in there a nice handy tool so you're not having to take your batteries off when you're not using this trailer you can simply hit the switch and you're not going to have any battery drain um, one of the other touches too that i'll mention while we're talking about the storage door here is they even do a metal slam latch on here so something like that is much nicer than those you know simple turn keys that you see because um, this is a lot easier to use plus they're deadbolt uh, deadbolt locks too so you can take the same key for your entry door and use it inside your storage compartments too so you can make sure your things are locked and secure now as we work our way back to the uh, the main entrance here you'll also notice on both of your entries you'll have these beautiful Moride steps Moride steps are probably a must-have on all of your big fifth wheels because they're so easy to use you can flip them up inside the trailer like so of course, they're adjustable on either side too, so you can always get that nice stable entry inside of your coach, and it keeps them protected from you know, wearing out over the years, like those ones you see tucked underneath the, the, uh, the fifth wheels. Now, as we work our way uh, over this way, you'll have an outside TV bracket, which is really cool, with, of course, your uh, cable outlet here and some power plug-ins also. And then, just as we work our way back, you'll notice here's your second entrance there for you as well with the more ride step. While we're talking about the doors too, one of the nice things that they also put in is that friction hinge system. So this can take up to a 25 kilometer an hour wind. So of course, if that wind picks up, you're not worried about it slamming and hurting somebody. Plus it's not gonna slam against the trailer and hurt that either. Um, another little touch you may have noticed on both the doors, they give you these really big oversized grab handles. Works great, especially if you have little kids because they can easily grab onto something while they're coming up these steps. Let's work our way over to the back side here and talk about some cool features. So what you'll notice on the back side is of course it has a ladder to get up onto your roof. It is a fully walkable roof so you can get up there, check out your, uh, your uh, seals on the top, make sure you're doing your yearly maintenance and that type of thing. Of course you're going to be pre-wired for a backup camera as well. So it's a lot easier backing into your campsite. And then you'll also notice you'll have LED lighting all the way around the coach too so you're not worried about those incandescent bulbs burning out over years of use. They even give you a nice solid bumper along the bottom here. So if you did want to mount a bike rack or something like that, like a storage carrier here, you can easily do that. Follow me around this way and we'll uh, talk about some more exterior features on the back side of the coach now. So one of the things that you will notice is on your smaller slides here, um, what uh, Heritage Glen is going to use is called a Schwinn Tech system. These are great because this is a four, uh, four corner uh, gear track system that evenly pushes your slide in and pulls it out. Um, plus if it ever has a failure, you can easily bring it in and out and it'll reset itself too. On the bigger slides, what you're going to notice is this has a full rack and pinion system. It's probably one of the best things you can have on your fifth wheel for a larger slide because it's very, very heavy duty. If it does have a failure, it's very easy to crank in um, rather than uh, smaller cable slides or things like that where cables can stretch or of course, you know, you have to wind it in and it's a very big pain. Now, while we're looking underneath here, I wanted to show you too, you can see your gate valves there um, you'll have a couple that are exposed and then you'll even have one that's uh, hidden up in top there for the black tank flush or the black tank dump there 
Um, and then just around all the corners, you'll also notice, or I should say the corners of the tires here, you'll even have a full electric leveling system. So this actually has a six point leveling system for you. So you can simply come to the front of the coach here. There's a panel that you push on the side and it'll actually lower these jacks down to completely level your fifth wheel for you while you're at the campsite. Now inside your passenger storage compartment, You'll also notice your full docking station here. This is a great system to have because it makes winterizing much easier. You can simply take this hose, drop it down into one of your uh, antifreeze jugs, and then start flushing the lines throughout the trailer. Um, of course, you have the valve here and the valve here, so it's nice and easy access to switch everything around. And then you'll have your black tank flush, your water connections here, and they even give you the outside shower right inside of there too, in case you're wanting to spray out maybe your dump hose after. So once we give this a close, you'll notice on the opposite side of this, you'll have your propane tanks. And what Heritage Glen does is they give you the two 30 pound tanks, which is of course the oversized compared to the two 20s, and it's got that auto switch over for you. Now one of the things I did miss while we were looking on this side here is your hot water tank. You're going to have an oversized 10 gallon quick recovery hot water tank. This of course is also gas and electric. So if you are that dry camper, you have both methods of power, either running it right off electricity or even running it right off your propane tanks, which is great. Follow me over to the front here. There was one thing I did want to talk about before we jump inside and that is the big fiberglass cap. So of course on a major fifth wheel like this, this is a key component because what it's gonna do is protect the outside seals um, of the most susceptible spot of your fifth wheel to water leaks. So of course it wraps around the top, all the sides and underneath. And being that it's fully painted, it really gives you that nice look. And then of course it even has the LED light strip underneath the bottom there so you can see what you're doing when you're hitching it up to the truck like we have it hitched up here. So let's go inside here and we'll talk a little bit more about the interior features. A couple of things you may have noticed on the outside too before we head in, you have the slide toppers that can be added on to every single one of your slides here. And you know, there's gonna be a lot of options that we can help you out with um, through our parts department there. So just let us know what you're wanting to do with this trailer and we can easily set it up for you the way you like it. Now, once you come inside here, you're gonna notice you have a beautiful kitchen. So nice big island here. And then of course, big dual fridge. You're gonna have a three burner cooktop here. On the topic of this fridge, this is a 12 cubic foot, again, gas and electric. So one of the really nice things about gas and electric, like I was mentioning for that hot water tank, is if you are dry camping, of course, you can still run this off of propane, or of course, if you're at the campsite with power, you can easily hook it up to power. Lots of storage space in there too, so it's almost like the fridge that you might have at home. Now, while we're over here looking at the oven, this is a really, really nice Furion oven there. So what they're gonna do is the nice glass front there for you, and then of course, you have the nice LED lighting around the sides here too, and then a three burner cooktop with the tempered glass cover to maximize that counter space for you. On the topic of counter space also, I always mention this in most of my videos, where you'll see an additional spot to place some items here while you're cooking. It's not something you see a lot of times, usually they kind of tuck it into a tight space, so it is something to note with this particular floor plan. Up above that, of course, being this is the full Furion appliance package, you're gonna see the Furion range hood and your Furion RV microwave there for you too. Now, other little details that we'd like to talk about too with Heritage Glen, especially in the kitchens here, are the countertops. These are a seamless press membrane that you have, so it's a lot better than that team old stuff that starts to peel apart over the years um, and starts to look like crap essentially in you know, a couple of years of use of your trailer. That's not the case with something like this. They're gonna hold up for a long period of time. Of course, with all your cabinets as well, you're gonna have solid wood construction, hidden hinge style inside of there as well. And you'll even notice this is a soft close touch that they have on the cabinet doors. Inside your drawers here, again, full ball bearing extension drawer glides, real plywood inside of there for you too. <clears throat> now on the topic of the island here, there was some things I wanted to mention. For example, you can see this has a massive tub stainless sink. So this is great because sometimes you do see a split sink in these big fifth wheels and they're very hard to use to fit like a big pan or something like that in there. Not the case with this, it's a very usable sink. They give you this beautiful little drying rack that fits perfectly into place, along with a little pull-out faucet here for you on your black stainless high rise. So, looking over into the corner here, they give you this nice extra little spot of counter space and storage. I love how they do the glass cabinetry in here too. Really gives you that nice modern look. 
And if you actually look up towards the ceiling, I find that this brand does a really nice job on their interior decors. For example, you can see these beautiful chandeliers. Um, they even give you some real wood trim in the ceiling there too, instead of that seam tape that you usually see that falls down or the plastics. So it's really, really well put together. Even along the edges there, you can see all that real wood construction, which is really nice. Now, as we look over into the dining area here, you have a freestanding table. This is super great because of course, now you're not into a dinette, which is really hard to squeeze around. Something like this, very easy to get four people in here. And if you needed to add more, of course you have the uh, table extension here and it's even a little live edge table too. So it gives you that nice look. Now let's work our way towards the back. And as we're coming back here, you'll notice you'll have um, both of your uh, uh, thermostats here. This is a nice feature to have because of course this trailer is equipped with dual air conditioning. So now with something like this, you can control both the air conditioners in different, uh, different ends of the trailer, giving you different climates too. So just above that, you also have your LCI panel here, which can control a lot of the features. For example, your slide outs, your awnings, even your leveling right from the push of a button there. And then on this end, you'll even have the uh, Force River panel. So something like this, simple toggle switches for your slide outs as well. You'll even have all of your lights in here too. And one of the things I did miss with this underbelly is yes, it's enclosed, yes, it's insulated, but they even give you the tank heater switch here too. So that turns on all of your 12 volt heat pads on your tanks. So if you're that early season or late season camper, you're good to go. Now I'll let you guys come back this way and I'll let you peek into the bathroom because it is a little bit tighter in this area. But as you go in, some things you're gonna notice, of course, you have a foot flush porcelain toilet there. So again, a lot better than that plastic. You're gonna have a full sliding glass door shower, which is really nice. And of course, it even gives you the seat in there too. So nice residential feature that you might have at home. And then as we look at the actual sink in here, this is again, that seamless press membrane. So not that T-mold that you may see come apart over the years. And they even do a stainless sink in the bathroom. So you can see the quality construction hasn't been missed even into the little details like that. Nice medicine cabinet up above here again with the soft close. And then down at the bottom, you're gonna have some more storage as well. I love how they put the little hanging baskets in here too, just to give you that extra added touch. Um, and of course, some extra places to put things. <clears throat> now, as we work our way down, this is gonna be, of course, your master bedroom for the trailer. So what they do here for you is they actually give you the full bed on the slide out here. There is gonna be some storage underneath here as well. So you can see a huge tub uh, chest or what we'll call it is a big chest for storage. And of course you have dual opposing windows on either side so you can get that cross breeze there. And then of course, right at the very back, they also give you this really big window. So you can have some really nice panoramic views. There's even another window right to the front side of the trailer too. So it's awesome. You got a 360 view inside your bedroom here. Talking about the windows as well, you'll also notice they use a pull down roller shade inside these trailers. So it really blocks out all that light um, and gives you that privacy. Plus during the daytime, it helps keep that heat out of here too. Now over here, you have a big spot where you can even put a TV. It's all backed in there if you can hang it or if you wanna set it on the, on the actual uh, top here. And then as you work your way down, you're gonna see lots of deep drawers, full ball bearing extension drawer glides on either side. Over here, we're gonna have some hanging wardrobe space on the top and even down on the bottom there for you too. Now, just behind you, Mr. Cameraman there, there also is another spot, which I'll, uh, I'll turn around and show you. And this goes underneath that staircase for you. So this is gonna be a spot where you can either use for a wardrobe or you even have a washer and dryer connection in there. So if you wanted to do that, uh, that all in one style unit, it can easily tuck away and it's out of the way for you there too. Let's head upstairs and show you one of the really cool features. I'll let you guys go up there. So you notice as you go up the stairs, it's just a left hand turn right around the corner. And what Heritage Glen is gonna give you is this really cool loft. So what they've added in here now is you have four inch thick bunk mattresses. So they're very, very comfortable for the kids to sleep on um, or whoever may be up here. And then of course, you're gonna have some storage along the back side here and then all around the front side of it too. And each bunk space is gonna have their own plugins and they're each gonna have their own USB chargers too. Um, the windows all up, all open up top there too, so you can get some good ventilation and there is air conditioning ducts up there as well for you. Let's head up to the front now. 
<clears throat> so one of the little touches that I love is even when you look at these steps here, instead of just doing like a traditional step, they actually give you like a nice um, free ledge there. It looks really cool. It's again, just another added little detail that you're gonna find out of Heritage Glen. And then once you get in the front of the fifth wheel here, there's actually quite a bit of height. So I'm six feet tall and I can easily stand in here. If you're about six three or six four, you might be getting close, but still there's gonna be that head space. And then of course, at the very front with your entertainment unit here, You'll have some storage on either side for movies or whichever it may be. You're gonna have your sound bar here through the Jensen stereo unit. And this of course operates your inside and outside speakers. Um, and this is a DVD CD player, it's AM FM Bluetooth. Um, and you'll even have a USB inlet there for you as well. Big spot for a TV here. There's even some USB plugins right beside it. Lots of outlets and you're pre-wired for the King Wi-Fi router too as well. Now on either side, going to be some real good storage space here as well. So I can't stress enough, there is an immense amount of storage inside this trailer and outside. Now, if you do like to have guests over quite a bit too, this is a great spot where you can actually close this area off. You'll have a couple beds here, and these are trifold sofas for you, so it simply pulls out into a bed on either side. And what I've actually had clients do in the past is you can easily take a, uh, a shower curtain bar or something like that, apply it to the top corners of the wall here and just drag a curtain across and it's almost like having a second bedroom for guests when they come in. Now on this end here, you're also gonna have um, extending sofas so you can easily recline out here and it's all Thomas Paine collection furniture that they use inside these Heritage Glens as well. So it's really nice, uh, nice material. It's not that cheap RV grade stuff that you may have seen before. And they even add in these LED light up cup holders here too. So. Um, all in-floor ducted heat, like I mentioned, dual AC on this unit, completely ducted throughout. So, you know guys, if you have the chance to come down and look at this fifth wheel, you gotta do it. This is one of our most popular selling units that we have on the lot, so don't be shy. If you have any questions, make sure you give us a call. Again, I'm Ty the RV Guy. Call us about our RV show pricing on right now, and happy camping. Hey guys, Big Mitch P here with Rangeland RV and I'm excited to be standing in front of the all new 2021 Cardinal 345 RLX. Now not only am I excited to be standing in front of this coach today, but I'm even more excited because I have our Cardinal rep, Russell Spencer here today to give us an amazing breakdown on such a beautiful coach. Big Mitch P, we Come can't on in. shake. We can't shake, let's do one, let's of, those. Do one of those. There you go. Yeah. Perfect. What do you think of the body paint? It's unbelievable. I love it. Guys, and this is in the misty garnet full body paint. So there are no decals on this trailer at all. So uh, this will stand the test of time 20 years down the road. It's going to look still going to look so, the same. Hey, yeah, you betcha. Hi guys. I'm Russ. I'm with Forest River and uh, I'm here to take you through this beautiful 345 RLX. Perfect. Show you some fits and features. So, so Russ, what's an overall length on a coach this size? Just a little bit over 40 feet. So it's uh, 40 feet, four inches to be exact, pin to bumper. Uh, weighing in at just over 12,000 pounds. Okay. So you do need that three quarter ton, okay. one ton to be nice and uh, comfy as you're driving, right? But Perfect. Um, do you wanna just first and foremost go over some construction and some specs yeah, on this coach? Absolutely, so starting on the roof, 3-8 stacking on the roof, it is fully walkable, okay? So you can get up there, you can check all your seals, you can make sure everything's good up there, and uh, basically if you wanna have a party, well, feel free, but it can is I, fully walkable. Can so. I break dance up there? Well, maybe you can, sure. <laughs> all right. Never, don't fall off the side though, it might hurt. <laughs> no, I won't. Uh, PVC <laughs> roofing, okay, covering that roof. PVC roofing, so new, 20 year warranty on that, okay? So that's big. Everyone else in that Tough Flex, Dicor, rubber roofing, is running a 15 or 18. That's right. Your warranty. So we're a little bit extended. Perfect. Right? Uh, double batted insulation up there. Radiant foil across the entire top as well. So the insulation value at R38 wow. is a true 38, right? So wow. it is giving you the optimal construction 
up top. Absolutely. Right? Coming down the walls, you're going to be a two inch vacuum bonded wall, right? So it is solid. Um, all of our slide outs, as you'll see, um, sides, okay, walls, and roofs are all laminated, okay? Um, wooden floors on the, on the slide outs. Okay. Okay. Five eighths tongue and groove flooring. Perfect. On the, on the main floor itself, right? So no lamination, right? No soft spots. Um, it is a true five eighths, uh, true plywood, no chipboard, no OSB, right? Perfect. So the structure is just extremely strong. Extremely strong, wow. for sure. I mean, it's gotta be in this size, right? Absolutely. I mean, it's a massive. Yeah. Massive thing to be towing down the road. So structure is a big thing. Right? Perfect. Um, I noticed right here too the uh, under underbelly armor. Yeah. Give so us a breakdown really of that. Exclusive thing that we do at Cardinal. Um, underneath, if you take that camera and go underneath the trailer there, um, you'll be able to see our four by eight high impact ABS plastic. Okay. So um, it's not that corrugated cardboard that goes rail to rail. We actually place that in place before the tanks go into place. Okay, the other great thing is, is those sheets will actually just slide out of the way and move forward or backwards if anybody needs to access those components. So wow. really great feature, right? Yeah. Because you're not cutting into that underbelly, right? I mean, some of them, they run just one sheet right front under. to back and Perfect. if you need to get in there, it's a pain. Right? And so, so what kind of um, what kind of heating can we expect for the undercarriage then? So this is going to be furnace fed. Okay. So we have a 35,000 BTU furnace in this guy, plus your fireplaces. So in total, we're 45. Okay. Um, but we do have active ducting that goes down into that underbelly. Okay. Um, and there is 12 volt heat pads on those tanks as well. Perfect. So you do get extended season camping. Absolutely. Out of a cardinal for sure, right? Well, let's let's go over some exterior features on this. Yeah, so again, this guy's built on the Lippard Z frame. Okay, so it's the next generation Z frame. What that's gonna allow, number one, massive front storage. Wow. Right, so when you get into your rear livings um, and your front bedrooms, you're gonna have this massive front storage that A, it's got the battery disconnect in it. It's got lights. Okay, it's got 110 outlets on both sides. It's got four corner tie downs so that you can tie your, um, all your, stuff into oh, the yeah. compartment right so it's not shifting all over the place do you, do you think we could fit my wife's mini cooper in there it's getting close that's huge <laughs> it is getting close um we do 30 pound propane tanks on all of our units okay so um one on each side so 60 pounds propane. Right. A lot of are going to have the double awnings so when you see uh, we do the led strip lights on there and we do double awnings on both Okay. Right, so just moving along to the front. Um, front cap is solid paint, right? So it is a painted front cap. It is chamfered on the side, so obviously the turning radiuses and stuff like that, right? I just noticed that light. That's yeah. awesome. Right, I mean, when you're backing up, it's not always light out. Right? Yeah, so it's true. Give yourself some light and, and see, we do the Rotoflex yep. Kingpin. Okay, so um, it's gonna eliminate that chucking. So I don't know if you've, have you towed a have you towed a fifth wheel before there, salesman? Once. Once. Well, yes. anyways, it chucks, right? <laughs> it moves a lot. So yeah. um, when, when it does that. So with the big rubber block right underneath here, yeah. um, it, it, it eliminates that chucking, is okay. what they call it, right? So it's just a smoother ride altogether, right? Perfect. And we then new generator prep up front. All our units, right, are gonna have Genset prep. Um, this is gonna be your thousand watt inverter because this guy is running a residential refrigerator. Okay. Okay, so yep. um, if you're off camping, off grid, we can run that. I'm gonna explain that more. On when we inside. go inside? Sure. Yeah, for sure. But this gives you all of the area that you need to get all of your stuff into your trailer. Okay. All your Cardinals, okay, are going to come with the six point auto hydraulic leveling. Okay. Okay. Hit a button, this guy will auto level itself and you just walk away. So I can sit back with a cold beverage and just watch that thing <laughs> completely level itself? Absolutely. Beautiful. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. One big thing that we do on the Cardinals case, so we do a fully heated um, docking station right here. Wow. Okay, so you will see it is all of your hot water bypass, uh, outside shower, all of your gate valves, um, city water, black tank flush, 
all the good jazz is all heated and in one storage on your luxuries here's the best thing this thing's awesome have you seen these i this is the next generation insta insta hot okay so tankless hot water to you wow right? so beautiful feature that you know what you never run out of hot water right you're gonna run out of water before, before you, you run, run out, out of hot water, water. there right? you go beautiful 35k right so on yeah the I'm still just blown away at this this body paint. Wow. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. So I'm really happy you guys got it in for us to uh, to do this video for sure. Power reel. Yeah, so power reel, right? So we do, basically, it just retracts, right? We've got it all pulled out and stuff right now. So it's, right? So it just retracts back in. And you don't have to hold, you don't have to have that big 50 amp cord yeah. lugged around and in the front storage compartment. Because usually you put it in the front storage compartment, you throw a bunch of stuff in there. Yeah. You can't find your porch, you can't plug in your trailer. Yeah. Right? Divorce maker. Well, you weren't kidding when you say luxury, hey? Backup camera ready? Yep. Okay. So all of our cardinals on the luxury side will come with the fiberglass rear cap. Okay. Okay, so beautiful feature. We still do the rear wall laminated. Okay, so it is not a wood wood built wall, so it's yep. a laminated rear wall. Okay. And we do all LED lights inside the cab. So okay. really beautiful feature, um, just awesome. adds a lot of luxury. Nice receiver on the back as well. Two inch receiver on the back for bikes. Bikes. Rack, whatever you want to do, right? Now, tell us about this outside kitchen because it's lit up and it looks like yeah, it's ready. So, you know what, we do all metal countertops. Okay. So that's exciting, right? Because you get that wood, I mean, let's be honest, if we're out here, and you're outside and it starts to rain or something yeah you get wood on there or you get water on there it's going to start to just deteriorate over yeah. time right so this metal is going to look good 10 15 20 years down the road we do the larger fridge oh, okay awesome. so you'll notice i mean it isn't you know massive but it's enough to it's enough to keep some beer some pops some juice for the kids grandkids Absolutely. that kind of stuff well right? i know you're two young kids i'm always in and out and in and out getting them snacks every five minutes right. so they, i can just walk up and grab it here that's awesome absolutely all of our outside kitchens will come with the griddle as well so it just hangs off the side um so you can cook some pancakes and stuff whatever okay outside entertainment and all of our luxuries oh wow okay so you'll have a dedicated stereo for outside right um down lower so on the campground you can actually hear it mm -hmm. right which is nice um and just a tv for outdoors i mean let's Perfect. be honest i love sitting outside watching tv my dad when we're out camping we're out at radium when my dad's outside watching baseball and stuff just sitting there at, on the outside of the on the outside of the it's great i mean it's it's a yeah. really great feature a lot of people think we don't want a tv on the outside for I can tell you from experience. Yeah. It's nice to have. Absolutely. Absolutely. Even like a, almost like an outdoor movie night too. Right. And like a drive up theater yeah. almost. You sit by the fire, watch a movie, absolutely. right? And look at, you got your sound system Let's be right real. there. We're bringing grandkids with this trailer. Yeah, absolutely. Right? The grandkids are absolutely. coming, I'll show you where they'll sleep. Okay. I mean, so they, they need to be entertained as well. Perfect. Right? Well, let's go on in. Yeah, for sure. Head on in. All right. You know what I'll point out one thing is our 32 inch door. So you'll see our door is an actually wider door. Wow. It's by two inches than anybody out there, right? That's you're awesome. Almost six feet and yep. you're not even close, right? No. So it's a great option. Plus our Moride lift assess steps, right? Lift assist. So just wow. slides in, way you go. Nice and easy. Anybody can do it. You can see it just sits in place. So nice and easy. Perfect. So do you want to take us through the back or the or the front? Where do you want to start? Well, let's get some lights on. There we go. I mean, we can just start right here. I mean, it's pretty uh, self-explanatory, right? I mean, this thing just screams, you know, quality and, right? and beautiful, quality yeah. and functionality. You guys right? do an excellent job just bringing the comforts of home right to the campsite, Thank don't you. you? Wow. It's designed all by women. So um, they sit down, they figure out all the ins and outs. I mean, I mean, they know I best. Can't design I can't know. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so some things I'll point out in the 345 luxury, you're going to have the buffet dinette. Okay. So what is that? You ask, well, there's no pole underneath. Okay. So when you pull the chairs out, that's a free floating tabletop. Wow. Okay? With the extended leaf. Okay. So you, you've got lots of room. We do the two folding chairs. We've got them up there, right? So if you are entertaining anybody, you got the folding chairs that can go in there, okay? 
I think you can see already just from the counter shots, probably from the table, you'll notice we've gone carpetless. Yeah, I was just right? gonna say. So I don't see a stitch of carpet really anywhere. It has um, accentuated the floor and it makes it look a lot better and it's really, really easy to clean. This is not that marine grade, this is the actual linoleum itself. Wow. Okay, so it's you that some of that other um, manufacturers out there are doing some different types of flooring on their slide outs and it's really hard to get all the dirt and stuff out of it yeah so this is nice smooth just off the way you go right perfect Plus what you is, have your, what's this right here well that's a that's a good question i'll show you a oh, lot of our floor man. plans will have the hidden the, the hidden right. liquor cabinet right right the hitter licking the <laughs> hidden <laughs> liquor, liquor cabinet, cabinet. Yeah. wow and it's accessible from over here as well look at all that storage so gun safes uh if you want to put in a wine fridge i mean it's pretty easy i i know you guys went and put uh you guys got rid of this shelf slid in a beautiful wine fridge in there and that's just it was awesome i mean it looked wow. really great so that's unbelievable that you don't see this very very often no, I mean, I wrong. actually only a think I've only seen plans. it. The other thing that we'll do as Cardinal the, uh, um, is we'll do the televator. The televator? The televator, TV yeah. TV goes up and down. Yeah. Right? So it doesn't take up any space in your in your trailer. Yeah. Where you have a window behind, um, where we will have a window behind the competition will actually be all TV or entertainment center. Yeah. We, If you don't want TV, put it down. Wow. Right? And then we can actually see outside of our units. So tell me, um, I see this so, fireplace here. Uh, this guy is, we're not plugged into 110. We aren't, no. Oh, we're not, sorry, okay, we're just off battery power. So, um, <laughs> when you're plugged into 110, this guy will actually um, heat the coach. 5,000 BTU of heat. Oh, wow. Right, so adds to that um, entire system that we have going um, for the trailer. So, uh, and it's a nice ambience, and it is bigger, right? So yeah. it is the 40 inch, so it is a bit larger, right? Cool. That is a trifold sofa behind you. Okay, so it does fold out. Um, grandkids can yep. sleep there. Additional Company sleeping can space. Sleep there. Um, you will see on the side. I don't know if you can get that there, uh, Al, or not. But there are USB plugs, 110 plugs, everywhere in this coach. Okay, we put convenience items as many places as we possibly can. Right? Yeah. You'll see them as as Alan's doing the camera there, inside the recliners. Right. Oh wow. As you're sitting there, I mean. Let's be real, if we're, if we're actually sitting inside of our trailer, um, it's pretty poopy outside. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And we're on electronics. Yep. <laughs> right. right. So, um, you know, nice large pantry. Oh, you guys Obviously, have... Obviously, uh... right? I mean, to we, we've got to have some storage um, in our unit, so we really try to extend that. That was our consumer's big thing was give us storage, give us pantries, right? Yeah. We're all and slow closing drawers. The other thing I could see here too, we got the recessed shelf so you can put an actual broom in there if you right. want or, wow. That's a really good point. Yeah. Um, all solid surface countertops. So nice, beautiful countertops. Um, we do the double farm style sink. Okay. Yeah. With the pull out faucets, right? So nice, uh, you know, luxury feel, right? Just, just a little bit more residential, right? This is gorgeous. Look at this. this sink's massive. Right? Wow. Large uh, 24 inch oven. An actual is, oven is you can use for size, as right? an oven. Absolutely. Yeah. So, you know what? When people are parking these things now, because a lot of people are. Yeah. Right? I mean, let's be real. We can't uh, we can't cross borders right now. Right. So, let's go park this thing out on a, on a piece of land. Yeah. You need to have all of your amenities of home. Mm -hmm. So, we've done that. So right? just a quick question, because a lot of clients ask me too, what is the ventilation like with having, you know, the um, stove up here and then the big microwave up here? Well, so there's a massive fan in this. So this is actually a Samsung okay. over the microwave or sorry, over the stove microwave for a house. Okay. So distances have to be accurate uh, by code and all that yep. jazz. So um, I know it looks a little bit close, but it's perfect it's perfect yeah perfect. so it's got the ventilation fan that goes right to the outside awesome so there's actually a vent to the outside that you couldn't see on this unit because it's actually painted oh wow so you can't see it Blends right? Right it's kind of cool yeah but all samsung appliances okay right so when you're doing residential fridge i mean here's look at the fridge you're getting oh we didn't oh. there you go all right i mean it's you're massive. not, you're not you gonna go hungry full ice yeah right Again, so we do the thousand watt inverter yeah. to strictly run this refrigerator. Okay. So what's that mean? 
It means if you want to go out dry camping, mm -hmm. take this thing off site, go camping without any power, and as long as you're running six volts, um, this fridge will run for four to five days. Okay. Just off of your batteries. Okay. Okay, so now am I suggesting that you go out for a week? Probably not. No. But I'm saying that you could. Now, uh, the other great thing that it is, is while you're driving, mm -hmm. you can run this fridge off your battery. So it keeps everything cold. Wow. Now, if you plug this trailer in and get this guy cold first, and then load it with nice cold food and everything, Bam, this thing's gonna stay cold for six hours. Wow. So I don't know too many people that are driving more than six hours six, yeah. to go camping somewhere. Yeah. Right? Unless they're going on a massive like month long trip. But yeah. So this is a really great fridge to have. Okay. Especially if you are permanently parked. Yeah. Now we can do this in an 18 cubic foot gas electric as well. Like RV fridge. Right. Yeah. So you're not stuck with this fridge. You don't have to do this fridge if you don't want it. Okay. We'll do the 18 gas electric. That's not a problem. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, it's nice to know we have the options then. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And then way more, tons more counter space behind me. Just more, right? Yeah. Just more is better. Right. Everywhere that we can do doors and drawers and, and shelving space, you'll see the nice frosted glass, right? Wow. Really nice. Subway tile backsplash which is great. I think one of the key things in this in this plan too is the bathroom. So I'll jump up into that bathroom there, check out that residential size shower. Holy, hold on. Come on in. Look at that. As you can see guys, like, you know, you just porcelain toilets. I mean, when do you ever see a shower like that in that is a, thing a trailer? Wow. I'm just taking back even... You know, some other things that we do in this bathroom too, right, is all metal sinks, right? Yeah. We do the beautiful countertops, the large mirror, which Al probably won't show himself in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do max fans in the bathroom. Metal um, sinks and wow. Porcelain toilets, like you said. Yeah. Plus, one of the big things, too, is we do a heat and AC vent in that bathroom as well. Okay. So, um, you know what? You're not just heating the outside of the coach. You're also in there. I mean, I, I've been in a lot of units, camped in a lot of units. You know, you get into the bathroom and it's it's like an ice cube. I'm just going to sneak right? over so, here so that... Well, here, why don't you just that. go sneak into that walk-in closet there? Oh, my can, gosh. Right? I love how you so, guys utilize the front cap so as well. The, yeah, so that's the advantage of that Z frame that I was talking about earlier. Yeah. Right, where we give you a full walk-in closet. Okay, so there is no step up. You can see it's further in the closet now. Yeah. Plus, we give you shelves all in the front cap so that we utilize as much storage as we possibly can, right? King size bed. Yeah. 4200 BTU fireplace here as well. So you're going to be toasty even right? in here in for here those well. days that it's just poor weather. We you want to watch movies? We give you all of your controls for your secondary AC in here. We give you USB ports. We give you 110 ports. Mm -hmm. We give you a little shelf for your CPAP machine if you need it. Wow. Um, there's underbed storage in here. I mean, it's just all around a, a good layout for a bedroom. No. No, we've also got washer dryer prep on this side as well, right? So if I'll slip over. And then you'll see in all of our luxury, all of our shades are going to be your day night roller shades. Okay, so really nice option, up it goes. Now Russ, Here's I just thing. wanted to ask you one thing. This guy up here, do you yeah. want to give us just a small breakdown here on the Well, that's the HEPA filters. No, so it's the <laughs> racetrack system for the air conditioner, right? Yeah. So we do a 15K Whisper air conditioner in this guy, mm -hmm. and it race tracks basically from front to back. But what you'll notice in the ceiling is there are no um, internal vents, right? Okay. So a lot less noise. When you're running this AC, it is quiet as a church mouse. Wow. So, which is really nice. How quiet are church mouses? I'm not sure. I haven't, uh, haven't checked that out. <laughs> <on> my <laughs> um, can I touch on something that I noticed that you don't see very often too in a lot of comparables in the market? It's right here. The first thing you see when you walk in that door 
is actually somewhere to put coats, shoes, and additional stuff. Absolutely. Right? Right. So again, listening to that consumer, right? Yeah. Is really what we've tried to do in our 26 years of making fifth wheels, right? Yeah. Cardinal is the longest standing high profile fifth wheel on the market, right? That's true. So I want to touch on two more things. On all your luxuries, you will have just your toe tap vacuum. Wow. Okay. So just sweep all your stuff to there, toe tap it, it turns on. Here's one thing I really want to touch on. So this is our Cardinal control panel. So this guy, you can actually download an app on your phone, Android, Apple, and you can control your slide outs, you can control your awnings, your lights, you can check all of your tank uh, levels, so um, water tank, sewage, gray, make sure you're good sitting all by the fire. So it's really cool, right? Wow. We also do an energy management system. Okay, so this guy is really cool. You can run the double AC on this unit that we have mm -hmm. off of a 30 amp, uh, off a 30 amp circuit. So what this guy does is it manages the system. So if you're running both ACs and somebody comes in and puts something into the microwave, yeah, it will actually turn off that front AC. Oh wow. Okay, and then allow that microwave to run. Once the amperage draws down, that AC will turn back on. So it's a full management system. So you're not blowing breakers on your campground. You mm -hmm. don't gotta find that campground guy to get it all reset. But we give you everything in one area. And then it's nicely closed off. It's not out in the open on the yep. middle of the walls like yep. you see in a lot, right? And again, this is that Insta Hot, right? So um, when you turn this on, you set the temperature of your water. So you know what the temperature is that you're actually doing to your hands or your shower or um, dishes and stuff and it's instant hot so it's really cool and always hot water always otherwise you run Never out of runs water out, right there is <laughs> wow. no more running out of hot water so really cool but if Perfect. we go back down here i mean you know i think when you when you take a look i mean it's just a really well designed use of the layout um, with the no carpet, it really makes the floor and the area feel just that much bigger, don't you yeah, think? Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Thanks I'm just in awe. Me, uh, do this. Thank really you for coming. It. I really appreciate yeah, I love, it. Uh, I love showing the trailer, so it's, uh, it's exciting. Oh, there goes my mic. Let me grab that. Oh. There we go. It's just Back popped off you. there. Are you okay? Yo, I'm good. You getting excited? Yeah. <laughs> All right. All this, uh, All this, talk All this trailer and luxury, man. I'm getting excited, so... Perfect, guys. Well, thank you very much for coming, Russ. Yeah, we really it. appreciate it. If you want to see the extensive lineup of the Cardinal fifth wheels that we have, head on to our website at rangelandrv.com um, and come on down and check, it, check out our Cardinal product. It's just gorgeous. All right. Thank you. Happy camping. Hey guys, Ty the RV Guy here and behind me is the all new 2021 Columbus River Ranch. This is the 390 RL. It's a brand new floor plan for Columbus and this is actually a brand new product from Columbus too. So we're really excited to talk about this River Ranch today. Now one of the things that you'll see that's really different about this style of fifth wheel is this is actually set up for that destination style camping. So it's meant to be pulled out to that campsite for you, left in place, and there's a lot of cool benefits that you get out of something like this. For example, you'll notice once we get inside there, it's a complete one level throughout the entire coach, kind of like that bungalow style home for you. And of course, with them doing that, it gives you a lot of storage underneath here. So let's have a look at that first off. So follow me back this way. I wanna show you all of these compartment doors. So once I pop all of these open here, you'll notice this entire bottom section of the fifth wheel is complete wide open storage. 
Very, very unique to the, uh, the River Ranch. Never before seen where you get it all the way across, even up to the front there. So follow me up to the front. We'll have a look at some of the, uh, the storage compartments up here too. So there's another one behind this door. You'll also have this little pop open for you. And you notice too, as I'm opening these doors, they're all that really nice uh, metal slam latch and they're lockable deadbolt key, uh, deadbolts too. So they're gonna match the same key as your deadbolt right to these locks. Again, you're gonna get these really nice magnetic um, door catches here for you too. And then as you look into the front here, it's the same thing. It's full pass-through storage. So you have what's called an, a 480 cubic feet of storage throughout this entire fifth wheel. And that's right underneath the, uh, the full main floor here. Now, as we work our way to the front, I wanna talk about some cool features. For example, you'll notice we have it hooked up to our Rangeland truck here. And then just over top of that hitch, you have the Flex Air by Trail, uh, Trail Air. This is a really, really cool uh, hitch system on your, on your fifth wheel because what it does is it puts an airbag actually in between the hitch and the actual um, the pin and then it even gives you a gas strut there too so it's taking out all of that chucking motion that you're feeling on the on the truck and of course that bouncing too so it's like adding that air suspension from your vehicle but putting it inside that hitch it's probably the best hitch you can possibly have on a fifth wheel like this so as we work our way around there's another big big storage compartment up in the front here too and then just to the other side, you're gonna see access to all of those storage doors again. So same thing coming into this side. And then right inside this door here, I'll actually get you over here so you can see inside there. There's your uh, connection, or sorry, your control panel for your full hydraulic auto level. So this fifth wheel has a six point hydraulic auto level system in it, which is very easy to use. You hit that auto level switch and it's gonna completely level out your coach for you. So it's nice and easy to get into that uh, spot. Now, as we open up this door here, another little touch that I like to point on is you have a battery disconnect, but you also have slide controls from the outside here. So it's a nice convenient feature to have. So of course, once you get into campsite, you can just walk over here, pop out all of your slide outs instead of having to go inside and do it on your own on the panel in there. Now, as we're working our way through, this hot water tank door may seem a little different to you, and that's because this is a different hot water tank. This is a full on-demand hot water system. So there's no tank here, it's actually tankless. And the nice thing with that is you have an infinite amount of hot water for your trailer. Of course, you're gonna have your furnace here. And this is an upgraded 35,000 BTU furnace, so that's plenty to heat up this coach, but with the River Ranch series, you do have something very, very unique. And that's actually right at the back over here. So what you're gonna see is this gigantic um, intake, uh, intake uh, grate here, we'll call it. And right behind that, you have a two ton air conditioner. So that's like putting two 15,000 BTU air conditioners together in one unit here. And this even has a heat pump built into it so you can operate your propane burning furnace and this and build heat inside your trailer. Now, another really cool feature is you don't necessarily have to have 50 amp to get this big, gigantic air conditioner going. You can actually run it off of 50 amp, which will give you the full 30,000 BTUs of air conditioning. Or if you're plugged into, say, 30 amp, um, it'll give you 15,000 BTUs of air conditioning. A nice feature that you do get out of something like this also is there's interchangeable filters. It's like having the same air conditioner that you have in your home right inside of your fifth wheel. So it's a really, really cool feature that we love to talk about with these new river ranches. Now, of course, I'll open up these storage doors over here so you can see everything. In this particular compartment, you have your full docking station. So what they're gonna give you, of course, is you have a built-in water filtration system there. You have the pre-wire for your solar if you choose to put solar on this coach. <clears throat> and then right beside it, you have an outside hot and cold hookup here for water. And then all your valves. So winterizing is very easy. Um, flushing your tanks, because it has a black tank flush feature on here too, is very simple to do. Um, and one of the things that I really like is it has a sanitizing setting. So what you can do is actually completely sanitize out your water tanks and your lines by hooking up a uh, tub of bleach or whichever you may use to clean out your lines. And you can pump it through with this little switch here. Same thing with a power fill option for filling up your water tanks and for winterizing. So this is a really nice uh, panel to have inside your trailer. <clears throat> now, while we're looking here right beside the tires, 
I did want to talk about a couple of things. For example, um, standard on this particular coach, you're going to have G-rated tires. So those are really nice heavy-duty tires for this coach. Plus, Columbus gives you a onboard tire pressure monitoring system. So that's going to tell you the temperatures and your uh, uh, pressure of your tires real time when you're towing this out to your spot. Now, last but not least on this back side here that I do want to talk about is the power reel feature. So this is a great system to have. You'll have a 50 amp cord that's on this nice reel inside of the trailer so it's not taking up too much space but you're also not fighting that big heavy cord. And when you're done with it, you simply just hit this switch here and like you can see, it actually starts bringing in that cord for you. It's a really, really nice feature to have. Over onto the back side here, you're gonna be pre-wired for a backup camera. Of course, you have a ladder to get up on top of your roof and you can easily walk around there, check out all the seals and everything. And then of course, another storage entrance into the back side of the coach. This is a great view for you guys to see here. You can see the amount of storage that just stretches all the way underneath there. And to top it all off, just underneath this door, they also give you a two inch receiver for a bike rack for you. Um, let's make our way around to the front here and a couple of things that I did want to talk about with this river ranch is of course the R values. So what Columbus provides you in the river ranch is you have an R40 ceiling and an R38 floor. They also do complete heated tanks in here for you and this entire basement is heated also. So if you want to use uh, the fifth wheel in that early season or late season style camping, you're set to do so. Um, another great feature is you'll notice with all of these awnings, they're actually just changed them around so the lights on the awnings are now in the arms instead of running that LED light strip across the bottom. Reason why they did that is so you're not attracting lights or attracting bugs right into your fifth wheel. So now that they have the lighting on the outside, keeps the bugs away but it also gives you a little bit better illumination into your campsite. Now, another thing that we also touch on with Columbus is of course the style of windows that they use. These are a full um, frameless style windows and they're actually bonded to the fiberglass which is really nice. They're bottom opening so you can use them in the rain and plus it really cleans up the look of the trailer for you too. Now before we jump inside here you're going to have an oversized door. They've actually increased the width of this here and then you'll notice as you're coming inside you'll have this really nice heavy duty moor ride step. This is a great feature to have because it's gas strut assisted so it makes it ultra light for you and it flips right up inside your door there and of course Nice adjustable legs on either side so it's easy getting in and out of this trailer along with the oversized grab handle. I'll let you guys run inside there and we'll start talking about some really cool features. Well, everybody, welcome to the River Ranch. We are so excited about this trailer here. We've been waiting to see it for a long time, um, and they've really nailed it. Like even down to the little touches here, because you know you are you're in the River Ranch. One of the cool little things they do right by the front door here is they actually give you this little uh, baby gate, but it actually looks like a cattle gate too. So it's just a nice little touch that they add there that I I love to point out. As you work your way through, this is going to be pretty much along the same lines as your um, fairly close to what we call a 1492 package in a standard Columbus. But in the River Ranch here, of course, different style floor plans, way more storage, but you're gonna have a lot of the same amenities. For example, behind me, you're gonna have this really, really nice 18 cubic foot gas and electric fridge. You do have the option of going with a residential, but for what most of our campers do, a lot of people prefer to have this gas and electric option because it's about the same size as those residential fridges. But of course, if the power goes out on you, you still have a way to keep this, uh, this running right off your 30 pound propane tanks, which are in the front of the coach there. So of course, 18 cubic feet, lots of storage underneath, lots of storage up top there too. And then as we work our way over here, you're gonna see Columbus has gone to a residential setup for your appliances here. So you have this beautiful residential Samsung microwave here. Um, which is full width of what you might have at home. And then just underneath that, you have the new Greystone residential grill. This is so cool because now it gives you that four individual BTU burners on top of here. So you have that chef top. And then just underneath it, you're also gonna have a convection oven. So like you can see, little fan there that you can turn on. Now it's actually moving the air around for you. So if you wanted to do a turkey out at the campsite or wherever you have this parked, you're set to go. Now, as we start looking at some of the fit and finish details in here, I love how they do the two-tone cabinetry, really gives you that modern look to it. But on the topic of cabinets, 
Um, what they've done in the River Ranch now is they've gotten rid of those little plastic catches that you have here to hold your cabinet doors. They've actually given you a residential hidden hinge style finish with the soft close, right? So it's a lot nicer feel to them and they're going to last a lot longer. Of course, the cabinets in here are all solid wood too. You're not seeing any of that cheap paperboard whatsoever. Um, on either side of this oven too, I love to point out that you have this uh, countertop space. So of course, if you are in here cooking a nice meal, you still have that room beside you. And then of course you turn around and you have this massive island here. And it's really cool in both the corners of your stove. Uh, countertops and your island you'll have these pop-up power poles so it gives you two plug-ins and two USB chargers in every single one of them so really really nice touch now they just changed around the sinks inside of the uh, the Columbus's here too and this is actually a three-tier sink is what I like to call it so now what you can see is you have this really nice drying rack here which nicely rolls up rolls up and you can move it out of the way when you're done with it they give you this really nice thick wood cutting board that goes in there and you'll notice there's even some more stuff in here. You have another little drying rack tool and then underneath that you can even take this guy out, has a little drain in there for you as well and it turns into a big tub sink. So you can turn this of course like you can see into this massive farm style tub sink or you can have a little split style in here too for you. It's really allowing you to do whatever you want with this style of sink, which is really, really cool. And then of course they give you the black stainless uh, faucet there too. So again, giving you that modern look and it's got the spray in here too. So you can give that sink a good clean when you're done or easier washing dishes. Now I wanna take you over to the, uh, uh, to the living room here because now what you have is a lot of uh, cool upgrades that they've just gone with. For example, your JBL stereo system here. This is full Bluetooth capable for your cell phone. I actually had my phone paired up to this not too long ago playing some music. It sounds really good. Of course, it's AM, FM capable. You'll have your in, uh, inputs here for HDMI and USB. So of course, it's going to work with your TV as well. But it's better than just those smaller speakers that you usually see in your main area. Of course, you're going to have premium audio here and they even give you a subwoofer there. So you got really nice sound when you're out at the campsite. And of course, it's three zone select as you can see through A, B and C. So you can have music playing from the sound system here into the main area of the, of the uh, coach. And then of course, outside too. So it's a really nice system. Now at the back here, you're going to have a pull-out sofa. This is a really cool sofa too. You're going to see it in some other Columbuses as well because what they do is it's actually a king bed style pull-out. Plus, a really nice feature is you can actually pull out just one side of the couch if you want. So we can easily remove that side of the couch. I can lift up on here. Get that out of the way there. This will fold down into place. And this will fold down. So if you just want to have, say, maybe one person sleeping here, of course, the other side is going to fold out too if you want to have two, or if you even want to just turn it into kind of like a sectional that you might have at home. It's really cool. You don't really see this in a whole lot of fifth wheels. Um, another little touch too, of course, they give you this little piece on the side here so you can have a place to put your drinks down. And then all the blinds inside of your Columbus, what they do is they actually use an MCD roller shade. So these are UV reflectant shades. They're not just your standard pull down roller shade. And they actually give you a day shade there. And they also give you a full blackout night shade so you can have that privacy or of course, if you wanna use that full blackout during the day to keep the heat out of this coach, you easily can. So like you can see, this is very easy to put away. Just lift it up and then the cushion goes back into place there for you. Now, great right in front of your entertainment system here, you're gonna have um, a really, really nice system. For example, you can see these are all power recliners here. Just a simple push of a button is gonna bring things in and out for you. And then just on top, you're gonna have these really nice LED cup holders. So of course it illuminates your drink for you, which is really fancy. And then you're gonna have even USB plugins on either side so you can charge your phone in there too. Centerpiece is also gonna fold up so you can keep your phones inside there or whichever it may be. And it's nicely right in front of your TV. And they even give you a ceiling fan in here to help circulate that air around. Another thing I do want to mention while we're talking about the ceiling here is you'll notice right in your kitchen, they, they conveniently put a max air fan. So this is awesome because of course your microwave is going to have a range fan on it too, but this is a suction fan too. So of course, if you're cooking in here, it's a great way to vent out those smells. Or if you don't feel like running the air conditioner that day, cause it's not very warm. This is another very efficient way of cooling down your trailer. Now, 
On my right side here, you're gonna see Columbus uses a really, really nice live edge table. So it's a lot better than just that standard look that you usually see. It does have that fold out here to give you some extra uh, table space. And they don't just put in those uh, standard chairs either. They actually give you like a really nice swivel chair here. Um, so it really cleans the look up. Like you can see, this isn't just your standard fifth wheel that you're getting into here, guys. This is very, very well appointed. The fit and finish is absolutely amazing on these. Now, before we go into the bedroom and bathroom, I do wanna show you another feature in the, in the kitchen here, is they also give you this beautiful walk-in pantry. Now I'll let you jump inside there because you see it's a full U-shaped pantry with three shelves in there and there's lots of space. So even if you wanted to maybe put like a broom in there or even use it as a place to kind of kick shoes out of the way there, you have that space to do so. <clears throat> now, as we work our way through, I just wanted to show you a couple of things. Oh yeah, like you can see inside here too, that's that screen for the tire pressure monitor as I was mentioning before. But as we work our way around this way, you'll even have your one control system here. Now, if you're not familiar with what this does, this is a control panel that operates your entire trailer for you. So like you can see, the awnings are on here. I can open it back here. This will bring us to our home page. So we have our HVAC in here, which is gonna control that uh, two ton air conditioner, your heating, you got all your lightings in here, your monitoring panel, you name it. You can run your entire coach right from this system. It's all integrated into one. Plus, you can even pair your phone to it. So now, if you wanna be sitting outside, and enjoying the weather, you can simply push a uh, button and actually bring your awnings out, or if you forgot the lights on inside the trailer, you can turn them off right from your cell phone. It's a great feature to have. Follow me through this way, <clears throat> and we'll, uh, we'll pop into the bathroom here. So Columbus absolutely nailed this bathroom. What you're gonna see, of course, dual vanity in here, solid surface countertops like you've seen in the kitchen. This is real granite that they would use in here, our Corian material is what we, we call it. And then, of course, they give you these nice little towel bars here, some lighting in behind the mirrors. That's Al there, our cameraman. And uh, yeah, they do a very, very nice job. I love this bathroom. Tons of storage underneath also. Um, you're gonna have a foot flush porcelain toilet in here too. And then I'll let you jump over. Actually, I'm gonna step in the shower here just so you can see the amount of height that it has. This is actually, I'm, I'm, a, I'm six feet tall, so I have a lot of headroom inside this coach. And a lot of people ask, you know, too, being that they've kind of made this all one level, is that gonna shorten the roof height? That is not the case. You're gonna have plenty of ceiling height throughout this entire coach. Of course, in this bathroom too, or the shower, I should say, they've done another really nice job by giving you that nice look all the way around here with that solid, uh, um, solid enclosure to keep that water in. They even give you this really nice wood flip up bench here too. It almost gives you that diesel pusher motorhome look inside of this fifth wheel, so it's very, very nice. And then of course, if you guys spin around there, you're gonna notice this is a beautiful ensuite right into the bedroom. Again, you're gonna have the fantastic fan up above our head, and just in the corner there is actually the uh, temperature control and the on-off switch for your tankless hot water tank. <clears throat> But I'll let you guys jump into the bedroom there. I'll go around the other way. So what you're gonna notice here, of course, you have a king bed on the slide out for you. And this is actually a full slide that even goes into the bathroom. So that dual vanity that you've seen from before there is even on the slide out. So when have you ever seen a slide out in the bathroom? It's very hard to find a floor plan like that and that's why we love this one here. Of course, you're gonna have this full closet across the front here too, which is on the nice sliding doors. And there's even a shoe rack in the back behind there. Oh, this one I have clipped there. I'll have to reach around and get it, but you can see in the back behind there, they do a really nice hanging bar, good shoe rack in the back there or whatever you may use it for, and then even some shelving up above there. <clears throat> Now, once you come out of the closet, right beside here, you're also gonna have a beautiful washer and dryer setup. Now, this is again a spot that if you're not gonna put a washer and dryer in here, you still have way more storage for, uh, for all your clothes. So, you should be able to have a whole second wardrobe out at the campsite here, no problem. 
Now right at the foot of the bed, you're also gonna see you have another fireplace. This is a great feature to have. Of course, you've seen from before, you had the second one in the main area. These both work as additional heaters for you too. So each of them are gonna put out 5,100 BTUs of electric dry heat. Another thing to consider with this coach, guys, is of course, being it's a two inch wall construction, complete vacuum bond, and the R values that it provides in the roof and floors, you think of it this way, you have a beautiful heat pump on that massive air conditioner. You have two fireplaces in here and great insulation. You could probably skirt this coach in and have no issues using it in a Canadian winter year round. It's an amazing coach setup that way. Now, as we're looking at the across the bed here too, this little portion is also on a slide out and there is a very cool feature in here. If we just reach inside this uh, little cupboard door, we can actually hit the switch and up comes your power TV. So such a cool feature of course it gives you that stand if you wanted to put something on top of here in your bedroom or you know if not you can simply pop up your tv there for you too now another ceiling fan in the top here too just to help give you that uh extra breeze flowing through and they even put nice convenient switches on the walls for you so you're not having to reach up and grab those little strings that usually always come down it's simply located right here of course you have a low setting and a high setting there too but here follow me back this way We'll, uh, we'll finish up here with the, uh, with the Columbus. Just above my head, you also have the Wi-Fi extender here, which is through WineGuard. That's a nice pre-wire system where you can actually convert that into a full router if you so choose to, uh, to do that. Um, but it will help you also get standard TV channels and that type of thing too. That pretty much wraps up this beautiful River Ranch, guys. Like you can see, there's maybe some miss, uh, some stuff that I missed on this particular coach, but there is so much to cover. If you have any questions whatsoever, or if you just want to come and have a look at this for yourself, don't be shy to come down to Rangeland. I'd be happy to take you out and show you through the brand new River Ranch here. Um, thanks again for watching. You know, Make sure you give us a call about our RV show pricing on right now for this particular coach. I'm Ty the RV Guy, and happy camping. Hey guys, Ty the RV Guy here, and behind me is the all new 2021 Cedar Creek 38EL Champagne Edition. This is the top level that you can jump into for a Cedar Creek, so we're really excited to show you this today. First thing I wanna talk about is the overall length and weight of this particular trailer. So when we look at the very front pin to the rear bumper, this trailer is 39 feet and nine inches long, and you're looking at a rough dry weight of about 13,000 pounds and 600, sorry, 13,600 pounds. So this is a bigger, uh, bigger trailer by all means, so you're probably gonna to wanna to have that big half, uh, sorry, that big three quarter ton um, or even the one ton truck to get, uh, to get this down the road. Now, a big thing that we love to talk about with Cedar Creek is the style of construction they go into because this is very unique to the brand. This is what we call a true gel coat fiberglass exterior here. Um, so going into detail behind that fiberglass, you have a full aluminum structure throughout this entire fifth wheel. And what they do differently instead of welding that structure together is they actually uh, screw and glue L brackets into all their framing and what that allows you is for your trailer over the years to adjust and get structurally sounder over the years of use. It's a really cool feature. Now in behind that of course you're going to have a lot of insulation. This is a true two inch wall here and of course the exterior gel coat is actually a lot better than what you may standardly see from vacuum bonding or even pinch rolling. And the reason why is these are built in gigantic sheets. So you have a lot thicker fiberglass and the gel coat on the exterior is the same that you might even have on, on a boat or something like that. So it really holds its color a lot longer than a lot of other fiberglass fifth wheels in the industry. Now, while we're on the exterior um, and talking about the construction, you'll notice with the Cedar Creek, you have the frameless bonded windows. Nice thing with all of these windows too is they are dual pane. So 
With that being said, this trailer is fully equipped with its Arctic package is what we'll call it. And one of the beautiful things is you get some of the best R values in the industry out of this fifth wheel. For an example, up in the ceiling, you're gonna have an R value of 45. That is unheard of in any other fifth wheel in this category. And in the floors, you have an R value of 40. And what they also do is they enclose that underbelly for you, they heat it, and they also insulate it too. Plus they put 12 volt heat pads on all of your tanks. So you're, you're equipped it all the way around for that early late season um, or even uh, yeah, early or late season style camping. Now let's start at the front here. I wanna talk a little bit about a cool, uh, some of the cool features. For an example, while we're talking about construction, you have this beautiful full painted fiberglass cap here and it wraps around all four edges so it's containing that main seal on the front of this trailer from ever allowing water in there and delaminating. Just below that, you're gonna see probably one of the best fifth wheel pins in the industry. This is the trail, air, uh, trail ride uh, trail air version. And what this gives you is an actual full uh, airbag in the middle of the pin and the actual uh, hitch itself, plus a gas strut. So this is gonna take out all of that chucking motion and that bouncing that you feel with one of these big heavy fifth wheels. Um, now, just behind that, you're gonna have a beautiful pass-through store, pass storage compartment and of course your front storage compartment here too. And inside this front storage compartment, we've actually ordered this one in from factory, completely generator prepped. You do have the option of also putting in a 55, I believe, uh, watt uh, Cummins Onan generator in here. So you're already set to do so if you wanted to do that on this particular fifth wheel. Now, as we work our way around the sides here, you have a really, really nice feature. Um, when it comes to your landing legs. This is a full six point hydraulic auto leveling system. So we open this door up here and you're gonna see, you can simply hit a button, <clears throat> which is gonna give you your auto level feature and it drops all six legs down and it completely levels out your fifth wheel for you. So you're not running around trying to dig holes or just get the trailer in place. It's super easy and super quick. Beside that, you're gonna have enough space here for a dual battery and the nice little touch that they do at Cedar Creek is they actually put these battery racks on a sliding tray, which is really cool. So it's nice and easy to get your batteries in and out of here if you need to. Working our way through, this is gonna be your gigantic pass-through storage compartment. And of course, the reason why you see a lot of extra height in here is Cedar Creek is built on a drop Z frame. So what that allows them to do is bring this front end of the trailer down and open up this storage compartment for you. There's a lot of cool little features that you'll see in here. For an example, you have the easy reel here and this is a full power reel too. So if we just push the side button here, you can see I'm actually spinning that. So instead of lugging around this big 50 amp cable, you can simply just reel it back up nice and easy. Now beside us here, you'll have your full enclosed and heated docking station. This is a beautiful feature to have and like you can see, they've set it up really well so that you're easily accessible to all of your valves in here when it comes to winterizing time. They even have a battery disconnect switch in here, all of your gate valves and every dial that you're gonna need along with a sprayer and a black tank flush. So just beside that, there's actually a really cool feature that you get out of the uh, the Cedar Creek Champagne series. And what that is, is you have tankless hot water now. So this particular hot water tank actually cycles the water through it and allows you to have unlimited hot water. It's very, very nice feature to have and you only get it on the Champagne editions. As we work our way through, you'll have your furnace vent here. You're gonna have your uh, power cord connection for you. And while we're looking at the slide outs, another thing that we talk about, because you have hydraulic leveling here, you also have full hydraulic rack and pinion slides. This is the absolute best thing that you could possibly use for your slide outs and that's why you're seeing it here on the Cedar Creek Champagne. Follow me this way guys and we'll have a look at the back of the coach. So as we work our way to the back side here, one of the big additions that you gain out of going with the Champagne package is this beautiful rear fiberglass cap. So like we mentioned with the front now of the fiberglass cap, you have one on the back so you're protecting both main seals of the trailer. It's a beautiful feature to have. Just above that, you'll also notice that you have a pre-wired in uh, backup camera. And another cool feature along with that backup camera is you have both side view cameras and even an entry door camera. And the reason why they do that is if you want, when this trailer is set up at a permanent site, you can actually hook up a, um, a security system to this and actually view all around your trailer. It's a really cool feature. And of course, you have a ladder to get up onto your roof there. And then of course, once you come to the front side here, there's some other really cool features. For an example, you'll have your outside TV here, which is of course fitted in its own little compartment. 
And again, talking about the compartment doors, you have full metal slam latches on here, which are deadbolt lockable, so no one can get inside and take your things. And just above that, you have this really cool addition that we've ordered on this particular model. That's the Thule box awning that we're looking at just above here. It's a wind sensing awning, so if that wind does pick up, this awning will go away by itself. But it's really nice because now you're not losing any of that awning space by having the slide out on your camping side of the trailer. Now, as you can see, there's a little green sticker on the side of this trailer, and that is the TST system. So like you may have seen on some of maybe our Rockwood products or things like that, this has that full onboard tire pressure monitoring system here. So inside your vehicle, you're going to be equipped with the view of behind you because you got the side views, the rear view, plus you're also going to see now your tires and you're going to see the temperature and pressure of those real time when you're going down the highway. You're set to go anywhere you like and very easily too. Now, before we jump in here, of course, you're going to notice there's that upper camera just above the door. You have this massive awning that stretches all the way over. Even the front of the overhang of this fifth wheel is, is covered with awning. So you have no space here that's not shaded. Your door here is a friction hinge door. And of course, they also give you the latch here if that wind does pick up really strong. And then on this door, you also have a keyless entry pad. This is a great feature to have in a trailer like this because if you're saying wanted to go out maybe on a hike someday and you're worried about losing your keys, you can actually lock them up inside your trailer and of course just hit the lock button and away you go. You're never gonna have to carry keys on you. Now, when we have this door back opened here, you'll notice of course Cedar Creek does a really nice look on their more ride steps and these of course are the gas strut assisted steps. So they simply pick up with one finger, they go right up inside the trailer and of course they're adjustable on either sides very easily by pushing the pins. So if you're on that uneven ground, you can get a nice stable entrance inside of this fifth wheel. Follow me inside guys, I'm gonna show you this beautiful trailer. So first thing you'll notice walking inside here with these dual opposing slide outs, this is a massive area. The amount of headroom in here, the windows, it's perfectly appointed. Um, one of the big things that we'd like to mention too with this particular floor plan is, of course you'll notice your kitchen now is on the slide out for the off side of the trailer and your living area is in the slide out on your camping side. So all your windows are strategically placed looking into your campsite. It's a great feature. Now, while you're looking at the kitchen here, another cool thing that we love to talk about with this floor plan, because you don't see it in a whole lot of trailers, is the amount of counter space that you have on each side of the stove. It's a really cool feature. It doesn't seem like much, but quite honestly, when you're cooking inside here, it's nice to have that actual, actual space beside you. Now, you'll notice this is actually a lot different uh, oven and stove that you may have seen in comparable fifth wheels, and that's because this is the Insignia Collection Appliance. So, what you're gaining here, is four burners on top, just like you might have at home because this is a residential style stove and oven. And these are all uh, different uh, BTUs here now too. And just underneath that, a massive, massive oven. So if you guys wanted to, uh, if you guys wanted to essentially do a turkey or something like that um, while you're out at the campsite, this is gonna be pretty close to the same size of oven you might have at home. Now, as we work our way through, you're gonna notice the fit and finishing in here is amazing. For an example, the cabinets of course are all solid wood construction, hidden hinge too, but they do that really nice glossy look to the cabinets here so it really cleans up the look. Of course your countertops in here are all solid surface Corian style materials so if you put a hot pan on here or drag a knife across it, it's not going to harm it. Now inside this the uh, the champagne edition, there's a couple added benefits that you do get in this package. For an example, just below the sink here, you actually have a dishwasher inside of this trailer. So of course it saves you that extra time from having to do the dishes in your sink. If you like to do things the old fashioned way though, with your sink here, of course it's a tub stainless sink and this is actually a residential stainless sink. And the reason why we say that is you have a much larger side on this end and a smaller side on that, of course, with a sprayer faucet too. Now, while we're talking about those cool features you get on the Champagne Edition, you'll also notice this has a wine fridge in here too. So of course you can keep your beverages nice and cold while you're out at the campsite. Just above that, you have a beautiful pantry here. One of the really nice touches that you will notice with the Cedar Creek also, is they give you drawers inside your pantries. This is such a usable space now. They're full ball and layering extension drawer glides. You have real plywood on the inside of here too. So again, I can't stress enough the fit and finish behind this brand here is absolutely amazing. With our fridge here, again, like I was mentioning, Insignia Collection Appliances. So this is all residential style. 
This is a beautiful fridge. I believe it's probably a 20 or a 22 cubic foot fridge here. And just underneath that, you're gonna have this nice deep pull out tray freezer. So you're gonna be able to have all the food that you would have at home here at the campsite. Now, while we're still in the main area here, like I wanna show you, still immense amount of storage. You have another pantry here, even up above that too. You'll have another little counter space spot here. And again, another little touch that Cedar Creek does, which is very nice. They give you a trash can spot and a recycling here too, with a little drawer just above that so you can put all your garbage bags. It's all these little tiny details that this brand does, which makes a world of difference. And Cedar Creek is one of the longest lasting high profile fifth wheel brands in the market. Now, before we head upstairs, I want to show you the rest of the main area here. For an example, um, when you start looking towards the actual living space, you're going to notice you have a massive TV here just above your fireplace. This fireplace, of course, works as an additional heater for you. So you have a uh, 5100 BTU electric fireplace here. So, of course, if you're using this trailer in the early spring, late fall, you have a way of building extra heat inside of your trailer. Just above that, they give you some really nice accent cabinetry too by jetting it out like that. It looks beautiful. You'll have the glass inlays in there. And then of course, along the bottom here, you're also gonna have a pull-out sofa that makes into a bed. While we're looking at this, uh, this nice setup here, I wanna talk about a couple cool features you get out of the Champagne. For an example, you'll notice all your valences above your windows are solid wood, but they're even backlit with some really nice LED lighting. So again, you can see this is the most, one of the most luxurious fifth wheels you can get into. With your blinds here, they actually give you a day and night roller style shade. And these are uh, nice slow rolling shades. So it gives you both options of what you're looking for inside the window there. Now, over on the chairs here, these are a nice theater style couch. It actually is going to extend out with a push of a button here. We just don't have it hooked up to the proper power right now. And then right beside that, you're gonna have your table. Now there does come some extra chairs for you here too. I believe this table does actually come out a little bit further to give you some space. So there's plenty of seating area here for entertaining and that type of stuff. Let's head upstairs now and have a look at some of the cool features. Now, as we're working our way up these steps, you will notice that Cedar Creek gives you a central vac system here. And one of the nice touches with this brand too is they actually give you the hoses for the vacuum. Lots of brands don't do that. It comes with a carpet cleaner and other little things like that too. And just above it, this is gonna be where your control panel is. Now, what Cedar Creek has just gone to with their new control panels is this is the Firefly system. So what you'll see is, of course, everything is, uh, uh, you can hook up to this, uh, to all of your systems right through this panel, plus you can even pair your phone to it. So if you wanna put your awnings out, your slide outs, turn your lights on in here, whichever, it's all capable right off your cell phone. And they've even changed the switches around inside the trailer so that you have a nice push button switch. You can control those again from your cell phone. It's the best feature to have inside your fifth wheel. Just below that, you'll also notice you have a go power uh, solar panel grid here. And that's because this trailer comes from factory with that nice, I believe it's a 100 watt solar panel already pre-installed on your roof for you. Come on up into here. I wanna show you the new bathrooms in the Cedar Creeks. I'll let you jump in there first. First thing you'll notice too is they actually do this really nice white accent cabinetry and it's the only spot that they do it in here. It really cleans the look up. And then of course you have a beautiful dual vanity. Just beside that you're gonna have a porcelain toilet with a foot flush. And then one of the tallest showers in the industry too with a beautiful sliding glass door. Um, like you can see, they put some really nice shelves in here. It's got a nice tile look to it around the sides. So it's keeping all that water contained. And then just up above, we have that nice max air fan, which of course is going to help vent out those hot airs um, in the technically the most warmest spot of your fifth wheel. Follow me this way. So now that we're in the bedroom, one of the big things that I love to talk about is this is probably one of the tallest um, bedroom heights that you'll see out of any fifth wheel in the industry. And that's because what Cedar Creek does is they actually extend the roof line of this trailer right to the very front cap. So even when we look inside this massive walk-in closet here, it truly is a walk-in closet. I'm six feet tall and I still have plenty of room inside of this, uh, this closet here. There's lots of shelving, there's a big hang bar that comes across, and of course in the corner there you can see your King Wi-Fi router. This is super, super cool feature because if you do go onto King's website, you can simply turn that directly into a Wi-Fi router for you. 
Now there is some really cool lighting that you'll see inside the bedroom here too, along with a little bench that you can sit down in the morning, you know, put your socks on, that kind of thing, it makes it easier. And then of course, with the Champagne Edition, they also give you a cadet space heater inside of here too. So again, this is probably one of your best options. If you're that type of camper that likes to set up in the winter time, you can skirt this fifth wheel in. And with that cadet going, your fireplace, your furnace, you could probably use this trailer through Canadian winters, no problem. We've actually had clients do it before. Follow me back down into the main area here. And we'll have a final look at this beautiful Cedar Creek. So a couple of things I missed, of course, you have a full in-floor ducted furnace here, which is a lot more efficient than you would standardly see with a tube style ducting and some of the, some of the products comparable to this. Um, up in the ceiling, you'll have some really nice uh, uh, accent lighting in the chandelier there. And that's of course a champagne feature that you do gain. And this trailer is actually equipped with dual air conditioning too. So you have a 15,000 BTU air conditioner and a 13 and a half thousand BTU air conditioner up there. And this is a whisper quiet system too. So essentially, if I was to turn this air conditioning on, you wouldn't even hear it running over my voice. That pretty much wraps up this Cedar Creek today, guys. Thanks again for watching. If you do have any questions, make sure you reach out to us at Rangeland. Again, I'm Ty the RV Guy. Give us a call. Talk to us about our RV show pricing. Thanks again for watching. Happy camping. Hey guys, Ty the RV Guy here and with me today is Chris from DC Power Corp. He actually supplies all the batteries to us here at Rangeland. And what we're going to talk about today is how to set your trailer up with a battery that works right for you if you're that dry camper um, or if you're mainly hooking up at the campsite. So Chris, with a lot of our customers here that are hooking up into a campsite for an example, what's the type of setup you would recommend for a battery like this here um, for that type of customer? Yeah, it's a great question. So uh, for those of you that are planning on uh, plugging in wherever you camp, um, really, uh, you don't need anything uh, special. You don't need anything fancy. You don't need a lot of reserve capacity. The battery that Rangeland includes with their units, this Group 24 12 volt deep cycle, is definitely going to do the job for you. Essentially, it's just a pass through. Um, you know, you're getting power from the plug in, it's passing through the battery to your 12 volt accessories right. in the RV. So um, you definitely don't need anything uh, fancy, nothing elaborate, just the most basic of batteries. Just something we'll nice and simple. Yeah, yeah gotcha. absolutely. Gotcha. Now I know for a lot of people these days, they may plan on plugging in wherever they go. Right. As we know, campsites are a little hard to come by these days. No kidding. And at some point they may end up dry camping, even if they don't buy an RV planning to dry camp. So absolutely. That becomes very challenging in terms of having enough power to sort of do what they want to do. And there's really two things we focus on when we size batteries for RVs. The first thing is how do you use your unit? What are you powering? What do you want to run? The second thing is how long do you like to go for at a time? There are people that just like going for a weekend or a long weekend, much different from someone that wants to go for a week or two, right? So, of course, of yeah. course. So what about our customers out there that like to, you know, strictly dry camp? They're going out into the mountains and just into the bush, no hookups or anything Absolutely. like that. Absolutely. So. Um, those type of customers, you should definitely be looking at a dual battery system. Right. You know, one is not going to be enough. Um, if we think of it in terms of how much power is the average person using every day. So uh, most people are using about 50 to 60 amp hours of power every day. Uh, if we look at a Group 24 battery, we only have a 90 amp hour reserve capacity. If you're using 60 every day, you've only got a day and a half and you're out of power. Yeah. So obviously very limiting. We want to look at going at least with a couple batteries for dry camping. So um, in that regard, most people these days know about the dual six volt system. Uh, you've probably heard about that. There are definitely advantages to going with two six volts. So the first advantage is the amount of reserve capacity you get. So they're higher than 12 volts. So going with two six volts will get you more capacity. Right, so, right. Um, the other advantage that a lot of people don't know about is the cycle life on the six volts. So, uh, and cycle life is essentially the amount of times you can drain and recharge a battery before it wears out. So, gotcha, gotcha. Um, with the 6 volts, their cycle life is about double with the 12 volts, which means their life expectancy is about double. So really good value going with two 6 volts versus two 12 volts. Okay. So what about uh, like taking care of your batteries? Like I get a lot of questions all the time of, you know, um, what's the best way to look after my battery when I'm putting the trailer away for the winter and things like that? Sure, sure. So uh, <laughs> definitely a really good question. and, and um, the winter is part of it, but also very important is how you treat your battery in the season when you're not using it. Exactly. So in between trips, you know, you might go out every two or three weeks, 
what do I do with my batteries or my trailer when, when I'm not using it? So yeah. uh, first and foremost, <laughs> batteries, uh, they need to be charged, right? And um, if a battery sits for too long without being used, what happens is the sulfur in the acid solution begins to solidify on the lead plate. It's a condition called sulfation. Of course. And essentially when that happens, we start to lose capacity in the battery. Um, by recharging the battery, what we do is we return the sulfur back into the acid solution, keep it from forming on that plate. So it's very key to keep it charged when you're not using it, whether that be winter, even between trips in the summer. Um, one thing I definitely want to highlight on too is that when your trailer is sitting in the storage yard um, and you're not using it for maybe a week, two weeks, three weeks at a time, yeah. there's all kinds of devices that draw continual power in an RV. These are things like detectors, LP, carbon monoxide detectors, the fridge board, the circuitry board in the fridge draws continuous power. Uh, my point in this is that all these little draws add up to a fairly significant amount of power, especially when you throw time into the equation. So what a lot of people find is they've got their unit in a storage lot, they bring it home to go camping for the weekend and batteries, the batteries are completely batteries dead. dead yeah. um, a lot of people think it's a defective battery. It's not really the case. It's just that it's had all this power flowing out of it and nothing going back in. So Absolutely. Um, definitely something to keep in mind if you're not using your unit for you know multiple weeks on end, right? Perfect, so, perfect. Yeah. So I see you got quite the selection here of uh, different styles of battery. Do yeah. you want to maybe show us a little bit of what you got going on here? Sure, so the first three here are flooded lead acid battery. They are far and away the most popular battery in the industry because of their price and the value that they offer. So um, with these types of batteries, um, they do require maintenance, so a couple times a year you're going to want to pop the caps off and uh, check the fluid levels inside. Gotcha. They do also give off gas um, through the discharging and recharging. So if you have your batteries in an area where gas can accumulate, particularly in units where the batteries are installed inside the unit, yeah. um, you may not want to go with this type of battery. We don't see that a lot these days. That's more of a um, you know older thing where they used to mount them inside sometimes. Right. If that is not appealing to you, if you don't like the idea of having to add fluid and check fluid levels, um, AGM and gel batteries are a very good uh, priced option. Um, they generally run about double the price of a regular flooded lead acid. Okay. They are still a lead acid technology, so they act very similar to this type of battery, but they're completely sealed. They don't give off gas during normal operation, and you never have to add fluid to them. So Awesome. So definitely a very popular way to go as well too. AGM and gel, uh, you may hear those two different names. They are different types of sealed battery, but they act very similarly. There's not a lot of difference between a deep cycle AGM and a deep cycle gel battery in terms of how they look and how they operate. So Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. And then the one that everybody's talking about these days, and we definitely want to touch on, of course. is the new lithium battery. So um, there is a lot of information online uh, regarding lithium batteries, and a lot of it is is unfortunately not correct. So we definitely want to make sure people know what they're getting when they start looking at lithium. The first advantage with it is very clear. If I go to pick it up, it's super light. So they weigh about 25 pounds compared to a 60 pound equivalent in lead acid. So no you're kidding. dropping a lot of weight. So now in an RV application, is that a huge benefit to most people? Probably not. Dropping, dropping weight is not a huge advantage. How they can be an advantage though to RV applications is that they act very differently from a, from a typical lead acid battery. So they have about the same rated capacity, but you can use more of it. And to try to put it in terms that people will understand is that um, when a lead acid battery reaches about probably 70% depth of discharge, it stops operating. The voltage on it drops too low to operate 12 volt devices anymore. With a lithium, um, it essentially gives full voltage until it just stops. And anybody that's used a lithium cordless drill definitely understands this, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the old drills used to slow down. It used to get warning when it was yeah. dying. With a lithium drill, it just, just goes dead. full pop until it just stops. Absolutely. So, um, it's great for things like slides and, and power jacks and stuff that need a lot of power. Yeah. That jack and that slide will operate as if the battery's fully charged, even if it's only got 10 or 20% charge left in it. So, um, you know, there are definitely some advantages to it. The cycle life is very high on them, um, so the life expectancy is good. Um, they recharge quicker as well too, so if you have a solar system or you need to get some quick power and you're going to fire up the generator, they do charge 
a lot quicker than lead acid as well wow. too. So. so it sounds like there's lots of, you know, kind of pros and cons to every style of battery that you choose. It's just finding sure. the one that works best for you, right? Absolutely. Awesome. Um, just to come back to the lithium, maybe a couple of the downsides to them is uh, most of the lithium models out there are limited by temperature. Okay. If you're the type of person that camps in the early spring or late fall, yeah. when we're getting into negative temperatures, right. lithium is quite limited by that. So just bear that in mind. Okay. Um, and they are about five times the price point. So they're, they're expensive technology. Absolutely. Um, so just uh, before you go out and rush out buying it, thinking it's you know going to give you two or three weeks camping. The latest and, stuff, and greatest, yeah. Do your homework a little bit. Ask the folks at Rangeland. Ask me. We'll be happy to get you the proper information so you kind of know what you're getting into, right? So Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks, Chris. Um, we're going to actually talk a little bit more with Chris here on some solar panels later on. So stay tuned. We'll, uh, we'll talk about that shortly. Thanks again for watching. Thanks again, Chris. Hey, thank you.